Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. It's good to see you again. Uh, a little while back, I had put out a question uh, to get some ideas for uh, all these pieces of cutoff cedar that we don't use when we build our clocks and stuff. We've got 5,000 of them probably, and instead of wasting them, uh, we wanted some ideas on how to use them. So somebody responded back with a really good idea to make a table out of them. And rather than just lay them flat and use seven of them, we're going to stack them on end and use tons of them. So it's gonna be a really unique build and not really sure how it's gonna go, but we'll find out together. So it's good to see you and let's get started.
So now we've finished uh, gluing all the pieces up. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten sets of glued up strips. Um, this is how they turned out. They're various lengths because I wasn't sure how long to make them, but this is roughly what they look like. Um, they all need to be squared on each side and trimmed to the final length. So that's where we're at right now and that's what's gonna happen. So um, let's do it. All right, now we've got all the strips squared up and trimmed on all sides, and now we're going to glue them together, um, and then we'll just let it sit.
So that's going to have to sit overnight and we'll come back when it's dry. So now it's the next day. We've got our glue dried on our tabletop and we're going to take the clamps off and see how it went. Pretty good. Uh, now we got a lot of sanding to do, so that's what we're going to do next. Minwax Early American color on it so it doesn't turn out too dark. So we're going to go ahead and stain it and let it dry and then we'll do the legs after that. So now we're going to do the legs. Uh, these are cutoffs from our shelves that we make. Uh, so this entire table is completely free. We put zero money into it. And we're going to make uh, faux metal tubing square legs out of these cutoff pieces of 2 by 10 uh, So I'm going to drill some pocket holes and we'll screw it all together and get them painted. So now we got all the pocket holes drilled and we're going to assemble the legs. I'm just going to glue and clamp and screw them together.
I'm going to put the pocket holes on the top and bottom so they're not visible. So now I got both the legs sanded, uh, ready for paint. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, two coats of black paint on each of the legs and then uh, they'll get sprayed with the sealer at the same time I'm spraying the tabletop. So now we've got the table stained and sealed. Uh, I've got the legs built and painted. I'm going to attach the legs to the bottom of the tabletop and then take it over and spray the final lacquer finish on it. So 